What is up, in the army? I am getting near five coming at you with a brand new video. Today is the last build that I have. The biggest of them. Today we're building the Lego Super Mario 64 question block. This as soon as it was announced, I really badly wanted it. Not for the weird gimmick that it has. Just because it's the question block, it would look great in this office. I already have a spot picked out for it, if it fits. So, um, yeah, let's go through the box. So, down in this corner, it says every all the information. It, has, it is recommended for 18 plus. It is set number 71395. And it has 2,064 pieces. Holy cow! This is from the Super Mario line. Um, and it's the second of like the really big sets that have come out in this part Lego's new partnership with Nintendo. They're gonna milk this partnership. <laughs> Last year they released the N60 the the um uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. This year they released the question block. What's it gonna be next year? <laughs> the Wii? <laughs> then, on this side, we get a lovely portrait of the castle with some tape. That yeah, just ripped off. <laughs> anyway, so we have a beautiful silhouette of the castle. Looks really nice. Then, on... This side, we have it in different languages. <laughs> then on the back, it says question block. Then it shows all the features of it. It has the castle world, there's the Arctic world, and then whatever this world is called. And then I think this is meant to be the inside part of the castle, so, which is pretty cool. Then, um, there's also something that opens here and there, and then there's also, that's how you get this stuff in, like, it's really gosh dang cool. And, um, it is eight, it also has the measurements of the cube on the back also, it is 18.5 centimeters slash 7.3 inches, that's pretty darn big. Then it is 18 centimeters tall and 7.1 inches, or 7.1 inches. So, um, yeah, it's a decent size. I, like, I can't wait to build this. This is probably going to take a couple days. Unlike the last one, which I thought was going to take a couple days. Took one. <sighs> Well, I guess, also, on the top, it has pretty much, it has the castle, the other, like, grassy world, which I don't know the name of, then it pretty much shows all the little mini characters that you build, and, uh, yeah. So, can't wait to build this, can't wait to display it in here, so without further ado, as this scratches up my desk, as it scratches up my table, Let's get this open, um, so we can get started building it. Here's trusty scissors that have been getting a lot of showtime recently. Okay, box is now open. Oh my goodness, it's packed to the burn. <laughs> okay, let me stand up to empty this. Jesus! <laughs> Not everything? Yep, that's everything. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so... This is bag number two. Uh, 
This is bag six. No, nine. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so this bag nine. Bag seven. Six. Thirteen. One. Oh, one's not that big. <laughs> Four is decent size. Twelve. This is eight. This is two also. Okay, wow. Uh, this is a little mini six. This is another nine. This is a three. This is a five. This is another one. Good, good, good. Oh my goodness. This is another three. This is another ten. This is another two. And here, are, here's the big instruction booklet. That is literally a book. <laughs> Get this out. It doesn't look like there's any stickers in this uh, set. Which I am always grateful for. It smells like a book. <laughs> As did the previous one. This literally sm it smells like a book. The amount of paper in it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's the big, big ridiculously sized instruction book. Let me count how many bags we have here. <laughs> okay, so there's three. There's three. Put the two. Oh my goodness. This is one. This is twelve. This is one also, so these are both one. So there are two big ones. <laughs> bag eight, bag four, bag nine, another bag nine, so two bag nines, three bag twos, <laughs> which is nuts. Bag 10, bag 13, bag 7, bag 12, bag 6, bag 11, and bag 7. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of bags. There's also these, which are base plates. There's a good chunk of these. So how many bags do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen around. Technically nineteen. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of base plates. There is two white in here, a purple. A purple and a gray. That's all in here. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is definitely going to take more than one day. <laughs> Jesus. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get started with this ridiculously large build. <laughs> There's two bag ones, so I don't know how much is gonna get down in bag one. <laughs> Looks like a good chunk. <laughs> so, okay, with that, guys, let's get started with this build. Let's get it done. Let's get it out of the way. Let's get going.
Okay, so the cube is done after three days. <clears throat> yeah. Three days of building this took. It took a ridiculous amount of time. I don't remember the last build that took three days. So, first things first, before we get to the gimmick, that, well, core, kind of, really, it's actually quite cool, the gimmicks in this, in this set, as you would have saw at the end of the time lapse, I was making sure they were working properly, because the gimmicks on the, uh, console, I don't know what I did, did, but it don't work. <laughs> Not properly, at least. I might have to rebuild that one eventually. <laughs> but the same with the TV. Both the TV and the console on that side, I just did poor, really poorly with. So, this is done. And it's pretty, pretty, it, I did pretty well with it. It looks so cool. Like, can, can you tell if this is the front? 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 You, you literally can't tell which side is actually the front side. This is actually the front. But, um, it's really hard to tell. And it's really neat <laughs> that it's hard to tell. That that just shows that they were quite good at making sure they look the exact same. Now, the top is pretty boring. Just yellow. Eh, just, just yellow. Then, um... The bottom is pretty bar. It is pretty boring. Also, it is uh, well, halt nothing. There's nothing on the bottom. You can see directly inside the entirety of it. I'm not going to do that. I think that would be a really bad idea. So, um, because there's Bowser sitting right here. Anyway, so first things first. Let's get to the gimmicks. Uh, easiest one to access. This one. So, you see Bowser sitting right inside, who I'm going to take out and show you. This is the biggest uh, like build character in this set. There's Bowser. Looks like baby Bowser, but it's Bowser. And to get the gimmick down here to open, you press down on the purple. And it opens the final boss tray, which you put Bowser on right here, and you're supposed to put little Mario right in the right there, and uh, he's supposed and it's supposed to just roll, go around and around and around. It's literally what it does. It goes like this. If it doesn't get stuck. See? Just goes around and around. Now we take Bowser off. We open this. We put Bowser back. Back onto his pedestal. We pop this back up. And that. You can't even tell it was there. Then... We get to the biggest gimmick in this, in this entire set, which is really ridiculously cool. You press down on the very top and grab it so it actually comes out. And out comes the three worlds that the camera can't even catch. Hold on, let me raise you up a little bit. There you go. Okay, so, then you flop those over, and you have all four worlds. You have, uh, put it out the front of the box. So we have, um, So we have the main, the main castle, like the, I can't remember the name of the world, but it's like the starting world of pretty much every single Mario game. You have the castle, then you have the, um, 
Then you have B Bomb Battlefield. Now these are from the Nintendo 64 version, so I don't know these worlds. But this is Bomb Battlefield, which looks quite cool. And then you have on this side Cool Cool Mountain, which was the last thing that we built and took the most amount of time out of the three of them, <laughs> out of the four of them. And then inside the one you can't see, it's inside here, is Lethal Lava Land. And, um, yeah. So, pretty cool. I, I will show you, there's Lethal La Lava Land right there. <laughs> I'm not moving the camera. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Now, there are some really cool features throughout this uh, actual set. Um, you can remove the bridge in front of the castle and it unveil and you can see inside the castle, which is ridiculously cool. This one doesn't really have any opening parts, this this the the battlefield world. Then if we flip it around on Cool Cool Mountain, the mountain has an inside. Just literally take off an entire face of the mountain, and you have an inside to the mountain. It's actually quite cool, and now I need to figure out where to put this thing. I said I had a place, I just don't know if this is going to fit there anymore. So, uh, yeah. With that, I'm going to put, figure out where I'm going to put this. For you guys, it'll be uh, like a second. For me, it probably won't be. And it goes down that easily. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's the cube. The question block. I'm probably going to keep calling it Cube. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, put this and uh, put this in the spot and I'll outro this video. Show you the top I'm wearing. <laughs> okay. Hi. I'm back. Well, the place I thought, yeah, it works. I'm probably going to end up finding a different place in the future, but it works for right now. It's pretty much out of the way. It's right there. <laughs> That's the place. It's not there right now. But, um, this is the top I've been wearing while building it. A uh, Nintendo 64 top that I... Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, let me go grab it. It's over here. It's sitting on my chair. Okay, this thing does have quite the heft to it. This is it. Let's not drop it. I would show you the question mark, but there we go. Show you a little bit better. I don't want to show you fully because I don't want to drop it. It's pretty, pretty safe bet. Anyway, uh, that stuff out of the way, and I wish I had like a confetti can and confetti cannon and. Then it just explodes and, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I think I almost fall out of my office. <laughs> I almost fell out of my office. Tripping over the floor. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad I didn't do that with it in my hand. <laughs> anyway, uh, with that, I have no idea what the next video is going to be. Um. Uh. Because I'm ending this on January 2nd, but I don't know when this is going up. This is probably during this upcoming week. But I have no idea when this is going up, so I have no idea what it'll be next. We'll figure that out eventually, but I don't know what's going up right now. So, with that, I hope to see you all in the next video, and goodbye! I've been doing this for three days, I'm...
<sighs> I'm resting now. Can't really say that I'm probably gonna film another video right after this. Anyway, I'm gonna go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, goodbye.